Bloods and gangster disciples, two rival local gangs, leave their mark on Milledgeville. Drugs are a source of income and students are a targeted market. I would certainly think that college students are, are a market for them. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so that's why on Thursday nights you will certainly see some downtown. Um, and that's certainly why we put out our downtown detail. It's kind of discouraged that. According to police, bloods are even divided within. Body Project Bloods rival Harrisburg Bloods. Police monitor for gang activity in these areas and in other housing authority areas, including Graham Homes on the north side and Jefferson Street. This is not Atlanta. Yes. Um, obviously, there's not going to be the same, and the, the numbers of different sets and, and, and gangs that are around. Um, but it is not also, it's not Mayberry either. According to the National Gang Center, smaller cities like Milledgeville account for 27.1% of gang distribution nationwide. Children as young as 12 even become involved, Major Davis says. The deal now is that more and more of them are younger, mm -hmm. younger kids, and they're doing, uh, they're doing uh, residential burglaries, um, they're fighting dogs, um, anything like a buck. The Milledgeville Police Department aims to diminish gang influence through a middle school program called GREAT, Gang Resistance Education and Training. We're dealing with sixth graders. Mm -hmm. That's about the time that they start getting interested in that. They see their older brothers or they see, you know, neighborhood people who are, who are now making money. Mostly by the time they get to the adults, they're, they're somewhere incarcerated or they've got a lengthy criminal history. Um, and then those, those type guys, they start moving out of that, that lifestyle. They're tired of going to jail. We will take a deeper look at gang recruitment and what the community is doing in the week to come. This is Jenna Howard reporting for GC360.